stat. All stations to stat. The hazardous weather outlook from the National Weather Service in Norman follows. There's an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms across portions of western and southwestern Oklahoma. The timing of these storms will be early this morning through early this afternoon north of us. Another round of thunderstorms will be possible from 4 to midnight for the rest of the area. That includes Jackson County. Large hail up to the size of tennis balls, damaging wind gusts to 70 miles per hour will be possible. A few tornadoes may also be possible, especially across southwest Oklahoma. Storm water groups and emergency management personnel across the risk area should prepare for severe weather operations most of the day. Authority National Weather Service. KG5 ICD. What's going on, Stephen? Did you see, uh, I did, uh, split that up into the CRM last night, right? Didn't look. I was working on that, uh, uh, SN filter uh, web application. I just saw the email and, and uh, thought it was weird, so I asked you. Yeah. Well, are you ready for this weather tonight? Uh, Southwest Oklahoma looks to be the bullseye, and uh, tornado potential is about as high as it's been all year this this year for us. So uh, I don't know. I'd expect maybe a couple of tornado warnings tonight. I think that's a certainty. <laughs> as much as it can be, anyway. Uh, they're looking pretty confident that uh, uh, that boundary off that stuff up north is not going to surge south. So uh, I agree with you. The model is the uh, latest runs of the herd pretty confident too. They're starting to look more the wrong out uh, I didn't quite catch all of it. K five WXL. Oh, just checking the dot three link. It's sounding good out here right now. Well, hopefully it continues to sound good. I don't know what was going on with it last week. But you know uh, ghost in the machine I guess. Something we were uh talking about. I says, you know what? It's probably like some of our stuff on the mountain up there at Walsh. It's like as the wind blows one way, uh, something's disconnecting. Wind blows the other way. It's all connected. Um, I'll stick to that theory. If Jim and I can ever work out a get that time together, we can get there. We're going to actually go up there, check everything out, and swap the repeater out with a new repeater. But it's hard to get me and him on the same page. I think that's the story of everybody's life lately. It's just not you two folks over here as well. And we don't know if there was any damage to our link antenna over here on this side either when the contractors were up there repainting the water tower. So there's a bunch of stuff we got to figure out still. Just ended up getting some crackle in there. I hear ya. Anyway, we'll get it figured out. Uh, about to pull into the driveway. Let me jump out of here. Uh, here you come out of my attic before I forget. Stephen, were uh, you needing anything else? I don't want to just leave when you were still trying to talk to me. We're ready to go for this afternoon. I'll uh, be ready for a net if we need it. Uh, we'll catch you later. Can you call to the guys later. Ron, Stephen, y'all have a good one. I'll be back in about an hour. K5 WXL. Stephen, I'm telling you, clouds are around here and humidity level and all that. It's like, I got my raincoat I'm bringing into work. I'm going to bring it in because I might need it when I leave tonight around 4. I'm thinking you're right about that. Might even need a shelter, too. The shelter, I'll just stay in the hangar. We got big, thick concrete in there. I'm 
sounds like a sounds like a pretty sturdy structure. I expect them things are built pretty well. Survived the direct hit in nine in May of eighty two. So uh survived a direct hit when it rearranged the flight line a little bit. Put one C five into another and kind of scuffled around a 141 when they were still here. So, yeah, I'm kind of confident with that one. That's good. That's real good. All we got here is the uh, Freddy hole. <laughs> and uh, glad to have it. Just always ready for a Freddy hole. Alrighty, I'm back in the parking spot. I'll uh, talk to you later if need be. Or somewhere. Have a good one. AF5, AS, I'll be uh, clear. Time to time to look at some other stuff uh, before I uh, do other stuff. AF5, AS. All right, Ron, have a good one. We'll catch you later. I'll be around and listening. KG5, ICZ. KST, 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 all stations. This net, this is KE5, BPL with the hazardous weather outlook from the National Weather Service in Norman. Uh, this hazardous weather uh, outlook was updated at 11.56 this date. There is an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms across portions of west central and southwestern Oklahoma and western north Texas. There is a slight risk of severe thunderstorms across portions of central and southern Oklahoma. The enhanced risk is south of a line from Cheyenne to Weatherford and west of a line from Weatherford to Lawton to Electra and Coral, Texas. The slight risk surrounds the enhanced risk and is south of a line from Arnett to near Enid and Stillwater, then west of a line from Stillwater and Shawnee to Pauls Valley and Ardmore. A severe storm or two will be possible early this afternoon. However, the most likely time for severe thunderstorms will be from 4 p.m. to midnight. Large hail to the size of tennis balls and damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour would be possible. A few tornadoes will also be possible, especially across portions of southwestern Oklahoma and western North Texas. Uh, Late this afternoon and evening, additional thunderstorms are expected to develop along a dry line and outflow boundary near southwestern Oklahoma and western North Texas. These storms may quickly become severe, especially if clearing occurs throughout the day over the area. The storms will quickly move northeast. Storm spotter groups and emergency management personnel across the risk area should prepare for severe weather operations most of the day. Looking ahead to days 2 through 7, Thursday through Tuesday, there is a slight risk of severe thunderstorms Thursday afternoon and evening across portions of southeastern Oklahoma. Thunderstorm chances will end late Thursday night across eastern and southern Oklahoma and return late this week through early next Once again for today, there is an enhanced risk south of a line from Cheyenne to Weatherford and west of a line from Weatherford to Lawton to Electra to Kroll, Texas. Authority National Weather Service, KE5BPL. All stations are staff. The National Weather Service office in Norman has issued a tornado watch that includes Jackson and surrounding counties until 10 o'clock. Again, tornado watch for Jackson and surrounding counties till 10 o'clock. Authority WX5OUN. This is WX5ASA on WX5ASA repeater. HBPL 5 Ira. Dave, I don't know if you've been keeping up with it or not, but uh, Weather Service out of Lubbock was uh, saying earlier that these storms that are out in North Texas now uh, really have the potential to split with the left movers being primarily the hailers and the right movers running a full gamut of severe. Okay, I'll keep an eye on that. Are we expecting those 
to be the ones to watch coming up here, or is new stuff going to develop around four closer? Well, they're just now beginning to fire. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be some new development fire that will be closer uh, that, that will affect us sooner. And uh, these are going to, once they develop, they're going to intensify rapidly and become severe quickly. They'll also be moving to the northeast very quickly. Set up, see if you're working at least. We're one out already, and uh, I'll keep monitoring and be ready. Give your five hour rates. Kiss hell. I'll uh, I'll have to go down and cover its studio. So, but I'll be monitoring. Ke five BPL. After it. It's going bad on me. Cut out really bad then. Uh, I didn't know he was very well. I wouldn't have even recognized the voice about his last word. Get pressed down on it really hard. It uh, it lets go right in the middle of the key. Anyways, I uh, don't have my radar up right now, but I'm just kind of uh, watching the uh, weather chat going on right now. Plus, I'm on uh, with Oklahoma Chasers uh, up north of Oklahoma City, uh, listening to them and talking back and forth with them. So. If anything pops up out there on radar, I should know about. Let me know, and I'll boot my radar system. I'm cleaning that computer right now. All right, will do. I'm sorry. Time to come here, bring my stuff up, get it all set up, ready to go, and uh, I'll be in and out to something that's closer to us, at least worth watching. Thanks, Carl. K5, okay, okay? W5, LFS. Hey, Gary. Hey, uh, I announced that tour watch earlier. Started a net and uh, net manager. And I uh, told everybody we were in informal. Just catching you up. Catch you bye-bye, Susie. All right. I thought you might do that. Uh, sounds good, Stephen. Thanks. Okay, you five, okay? Five, GMU Weather Center monitoring. Yeah, looks like the best chance we had this season around here. We'll be talking to you tonight, I'm sure. Okay, you five, okay? Thanks, Jeff. Uh, oh, you're awesome. Oh, thanks, all of us. Guys, uh, just uh, keep us posted on anything you've got out there. We'll be listening. We've got it turned up in the Weather Center. KF5, GMU clear. QST, QST, all stations. This is This is KE5 BPL. National Weather Service in Lubbock has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Childers County, northeastern Motley, northwestern Cottle, and southeastern Hall counties until 345. At 3.11, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles southwest of Seavey, or 17 miles northeast of Matador, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Golf ball-sized hail and 60 mile per hour winds will be the main hazards. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Childress County, northeastern Motley, northwestern Cottle, and southeastern Hall counties till 3.45. Authority National Weather, KE5 BPL. KC5 CMZ and 5VX. Hey Dale, KC5 CMZ here. Are you watching the weather this afternoon? Yeah, I've been keeping my eye on it. Uh, my little folks at church decided that we should just postpone church tonight and let me go home.
and 5AX. 5CMC. This is the WX. 5 L A 5 VX W5 RH L123 And 5 VX, go ahead. Looks like they issued a tornado warning on the one near Childress. Yeah, it just popped up on the radar here. They sure have. I don't like the the direction of that warning box that's pretty much uh, headed straight for Altus. Looking good on radar anyway. W5 IRH. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at this stuff, uh, Dave, and I'll do something here in a minute. N5VX. Were y'all okay on the tornado warning in uh, Texas? KE5BTL. Yeah, we were just talking about that, but if you want to read that off, go ahead. QST, QST, all stations, this net, this is KE5BTL. National Weather Service in Lubbock has issued a tornado warning for South Central Childress and Northern Cottle Counties in Texas until 4 p.m. At 3.35, a confirmed tornado was located near Seavey or 17 miles south of Childress, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazards include a damaging tornado and golf ball-sized hail. Once again, a tornado warning for South Central Childress and Northern Cottle County till 4. Authority National Weather Service Lubbock, KE5BPL. 23. Please step in 23. what was that um, tornado warning? QST, QST, QST. The National Weather Service in Lubbock, Texas, has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Childers County in the Panhandle of Texas and northeastern Cottle County, also in northwestern Texas. Until 4.15 p.m. at 3.56 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Kirkland, or nine miles southeast of Childers, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard? Tornado and golf ball size hail. <clears throat> Impact is flying debris and will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. This is a dangerous storm and will be near Kirkland around 4.05 p.m. This is WX5 ASA at the Altus Emergency Operations Center, Authority National Weather Service. WX5 ASA, W5 IRH. W5RH, WX5ASA, go ahead. What I don't like about Jackson County is the river between Altus and Olusty. I, I don't have very many east options. I hate getting down. I need to go down there, but then, you know, it's going to stay pretty far south. And I'm not going to have any good east options unless I go way south, right? Uh, that's true. You won't. So you may want to just hold at the uh, intersection of 6 and 62 and not go all the way down to a lusty. Or, yeah, a lusty. The way this is tracking... In my few glances that I've been taking, it looks even to stay south of Old Lusty, the actual tornado part of the storm, where the rotation is on the radar. Okay, my radar shows, a, well, yeah, okay, the central part of the storm is going to track a little north of Old Lusty, and the part that's got the tornado in it, possible tornado in it, I should say, um, it may track just south of Olusi. That's true. Um, your other option, of course, is to go straight south of Altus and uh, hold at Nine Mile Hill. You'd see about the same thing. That's actually what I was thinking. Maybe even go, because it's still an hour away from Elder, uh, Elmer. 
maybe I could, you know, go to the River Bridge or to that T intersection where uh, that Elmer Road meets the old Lusty Road down there. Yeah, you might be able to do that too. Uh, your escape route is either straight north or uh, out towards Tipton. Remember, the road north to Ducks Corners is under construction, so it would be not a good escape route that way. Okay, I'm going to go south and go to Elmer and then go east and watch uh, watch that side of it. I bet when this thing gets fired up, it's going to, you know, be the normal right mover and move probably east, straight east or maybe east southeast. The, I'm talking about the tornado part. Tornado, watch. Everybody wants me to make you aware that 283 South is also under construction. I'm sure you're aware of that, but now you've been warned. Yeah, that's going to be a, a little pain, but I'll, uh, I'll manage. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming all the spotter traffic, chaser traffic, has went on 62 in, in that side of the state. You know, by El Dorado and Olusty. That's why I'm choosing to go south. This direction, I imagine the highway part is going to be pretty full. I would imagine it would be, so take care while you're out there. Okay, well, I'm headed south, I don't have APRS, and oop, I missed the road I wanted to turn on. <laughs> Guess I'll turn the next mile. Uh, unless you talk to me on DEP, on digital, you're not going to know where I'm at. Maybe I'll, if I get to a stop, and every time I stop, I'll chunk it. So I'll show up on the, the map. W5 on RH. Sounds good, and I am monitoring uh, D-Star. If you want to move over to that channel at any particular moment, I'll be listening. It's paved, and I'm a mile, I'm, you know, just a mile west of the highway, and there's no traffic. So, I don't know how far south 203 goes. I think it may go all the way to Elmer, or the mile before Elmer, at least. Actually, I think it stops a few miles before Elmer, but uh, it seems to be a good option right now. Okay, um, I'll look at that on the map and see if I can tell how far uh, south it goes. But that that's probably is a good option to stay off the highway and do the side road and uh, get Kerchunk every so often. Uh, WX5 ASA on the WX5 ASA repeater. KC5 CMC WX5 ASA. WX5 ASA, go ahead. I just got a text or report on the radio, and I'm doing so. The text that was sent out was report to the EOC, which means if you can come to the EOC, please come. Said on radio or in person. What would have meant in person. TQC, this is KG5 ICZ. A tornado warning remains in effect until 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time for southwestern Jackson County and northwestern Hardeman County. At 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Goodlett, moving east at 40 miles per hour. This storm has had a history of producing a tornado northwest of Goodlett. Hazards include a tornado and two-inch hail. Source is radar indicated. Uh, locations impact include Goodlett. Uh, this is KG5 ICZ standing by. I'm not going anywhere yet. I'm reading this uh, text since I didn't get it myself. I'm down at the OC. 
Um, if you're not out already, report to the OC on radio or in person. So it doesn't matter. It's up to you whether you want to stay at home and talk on the radio or come down here, it looks like. Somebody doubles with you. That other station, go ahead. Have plenty of people there. Have the director and two volunteers. Uh, where are you at? Good to me. I'm on the radio. I'm at the home. Uh, 90th and cold. 90th and cold. Okay. Well, thank so you for good. checking in. WX5ASA. Sound good doing that. That's all. There you go. Okay. WX5ASA, KG5IWL portable. KG5IWL, go ahead. I'm just checking in. I won't be able to make it down to the EOC. I have a church this evening, but uh, I'm looking out and keeping an eye out on the weather until we get ready to leave here shortly. But I thought I'd let you know I was out and about and had a radio on. Okay, I'll um, log you as checked in. And there are some churches out there that are canceling services this evening because of this storm, but uh, I'll have you logged in. I don't know if you're watching or not, but that uh, area inside the warning box has tightened up considerably and gotten much faster. Yeah, I see that. Uh, there on the radar paint, looking back through my window here. I'm standing outside of my vehicle watching that direction over here. And what's your location right now? A little west of Nine Mile Hill. I'm out. K G five I W L Link. I'm sorry, I didn't copy you. No, it was just uh, that was a uh, link dropping, I think, on Echo Link. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just uh, watching that south end of the storm down there. I don't know if you can hear me, it's so windy out here, but uh, I'll keep an eye on it. There'll be a five hour eight. Okay. Um, yeah, do that. It's uh, not looking good right now. WX5ASA. Uh, they're talking about a downgrade, possible downgrade to severe. Okay. Altus, Olusti, El Dorado, 
Elmer and Hess. Once again, the National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Jackson County, southeastern Harmon County, northwestern Wilbarger, and central Hardeman County until 5.15 p.m. Locations impacted are Altus, Olusty, El Dorado, Elmer, and Hess. This is WX5 ASA. Now the Alta COC Authority National Weather Service. A tornado watch in place for the warned area. This does include the city of Alta, KNG 993. The SNET to the attention of El Dorado Fire. QST, QST, QST. This is WX5 ASA of the Alta COC. We have a report of hail up to two inches uh, southwest of El Dorado. Once again, we have a report of hail up to the size of two inches southwest of El Dorado. X5 ASA. X5 CRM. WX5 ASA, go ahead. Sir, I'm at the river south of El Dorado on 6, and uh, I can confirm that um, I would say about Hennig, Hennig size hail current time.
Red River. However, at Duke, 40 mile an hour straight line winds or radar indicated. These are straight line winds, not tornadic, no rotation seen at 2,000 foot level. KNG 993. Locations of action included Alton, Celestia, El Dorado, Elmer, and Hess. This is CB5I2D6. Alpha, you'll see W5 Irish. W5 Irish, go ahead. It might be organizing again there, uh, right on the river, or close to it. Maybe a little north. Hard to tell where the river's at from my spot, but... Okay, I'll keep an eye on it here. TQS, TQSC. National Weather Service has put out a severe weather statement. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 5.15 p.m. for southwestern Jackson and northwestern Wilbarger counties. At 4.50 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located at five miles northeast of El Dorado, or El Dorado, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Uh, impact is people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Altus, Olusti, El Dorado, Elmer and Hess. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 5.15 p.m. This is WX5ASA at the Alpha COC, Authority of National Weather Service. This is TQS, National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Jackson County, west central Kiowa County, southeastern Greer County, until 5.45 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Duke, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour, hazard 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Move to an interior room. Locations include Altus, Blair, Again, Martha, Warren, Duke, Hester, and Altus Luger Lake. Authority National Weather Service, KNG 993. Once again, National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Jackson County. We are not west central Kiowa County and southeastern Greer County until 5.45 p.m. This is WX5 ASA at the Alpha COC Authority National Weather Service. So we're Alpha, Friendship, get ready to move it over. I'm sorry, Hedrick. You can tell the storms uh, get closer to my location. The internet speed has slowed to a, to a crawl where I'm stationed. I, I don't have basically any internet now.
that's kind of close to the south side of town. Weather service Norman is issuing a new thunderstorm warning at 514. One. Uh, this is for northeastern Jackson, northeastern, uh, northeastern Jackson, south central Kiowa, northwestern Tillman County. Is 210 completely closed? Or is it just like you can kind of go through it? Located near Olusti, moving northeast at 30. Hazard includes 2 inch hail and 60 mile an hour wind gust. Radar indicated. Uh, WH5 LAW. We're not talking about 5 heading out to Tippin, are we? GD and Cyrus Copy. I'm sorry, say that again. So we're not talking about Highway 5 at the uh, Nine Mile Hill heading to Tipton, are we? Roger, roger. Uh, no. Uh, I'm north of, uh, I'm driving north on 283, and I'd like to be driving east. It's uh, looking uh, pretty interesting out my, my window here. Uh, Carol's saying 169 is a possibility. This at the National Weather Service office in Normans issues severe thunderstorm warning for Jackson, Kiowa, Tillman until 6 o'clock. At 5.13, radar indicated a thunderstorm located near Olusty, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Two-inch hail and 60-mile-an-hour wind gusts are possible. Locations impacted include Alphys, Schneider, Olusty, Mountain Park, Hedrick, Friendship, Okay. One. I just missed the road. I wanted to turn on. Looks like I'm gonna be getting kind of screwed here. There's five hours. Thunderstorms again. Severe. Sorry, I couldn't help. Warning. Six five hours. Jackson includes the city of Alpha until six o'clock. KNG nine nine three. Five hours. Five hours. Five hours. Go ahead. Are you uh, seeing any hail right now? Short answer is yes. I can't get a size on it at the moment. And yeah, we're getting a very large hail reports south of your location down at Nine Mile Hill and over towards Olusty. Yeah, zero visibility here south of town. Okay, we're getting reports of tennis ball size hail in that general area, uh, so you may want to look out for that. I would love to have an east road. Oh, my goodness.
this time. And on to... And if so, what's the, uh, I know it's Highway 62, and what's the uh, north-south there? A negative. I'm at my house, uh, I'd say about one inch now. I see a few pieces. Yeah, nearest uh, major road intersection. So that'll be Park Avenue, Katy. I'm assuming it would be the closest one. <coughs> Excuse me, I have my APRS up. Park Avenue and where? Katy, Kilo, Alpha, Tango, Yankee. The index on the trail still continues to fall. Okay, do you have did you ever give a size on that? Affirmative at least. There's a few hit eggs laying out there. Uh, most of it's golf ball or quarters. Affirmative got that. Can you beacon one more time so we can see where you are? I'm at the Humphrey Cutoff, so I'll be about two two miles south of Mezzanine. Two south of Mezzanine. Okay, I got it. I got you. Two miles south of Mezzanine on 283 south of Altus, 48 mile an hour wind. And I'm very wet. Alpha COC, uh, this is 7 6. If to go ahead. Multiple hail strikes of quarter to almost golf ball size hail now. 900. Multiple hail strikes. Some quarter, some almost to golf ball size. WX5 ASA, W5 IRH off East Star. I'm, uh, I'm moving northbound. Most of the large hail has stopped. WX5 ASA, W5 IRH off East Star. I'm, uh, I'm moving northbound. Most of the large hail has stopped. WX5 ASA, this is KC5 CMZ. WX5 ASA, go ahead. Friendship, uh, heavy rain, visibility about 100 feet, and, uh, P to marble size hail. What size marble? A half inch to three quarters. I appreciate that. Half inch to three quarters inch hail at Friendship. It's just light. It's sporadic, but it's... Check somewhere. Everybody check the year. Yeah. Thank you for the report. I appreciate it. WX5 ASA. CMZ clear. WX5 ASA, KG5 IWL, WX5 ASA, repeater. KG5 IWL, go ahead. I will confirm the uh, hail sizes over at Friendship and uh, coming in towards uh, Altus, about quarter size hail. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Confirmation on the hail size at Friendship and quarter size on the way in. Uh, I'll take it you're not too far from Friendship at this point. It just came out of Friendship. Okay, I appreciate the report. WX5 ASA. ASA, W5 IRH, I'm back in city limits. Most of the hell I see laying on the... Little flip going on here. Most of the hill I see laying on the ground looks to be quarters, maybe a hair bigger, but I don't see any hen eggs in Altus. What's bigger than a quarter would it be a golf ball, I guess. I don't see any golf balls. Okay, copy quarter size hail in Altus. Not current time laying on the ground. Yeah, I appreciate that. X5SA on the WX5SA repeater. A lot of the city streets are curved deep. It's flowing from side to side across uh, East Broadway here. 
looking north onto the side street. There's no no road visible. It's all water. We have curb to curb flooding on most streets. Copy. W five IRH. WX five ASA. I'm gonna continue east. Follow in behind this. Just see if I happen to see any dam storm damage or larger hail on the ground. W five IRH. Okay. WX five ASA. WX5 ASA, KG5 IWL Portable. Uh, just want to report here, a lot of um, ponding on the on the Main Street in Alphys and also uh, on Lee Street. Okay, we got some reports of minor flooding. Uh, most of it on the street right now, but I appreciate the report. Thank you. KG5 IWL on site. I don't know how accurate it is, but my spring gauge at the house is recording over a seven out in seven inch an hour rain rate. Okay. Um, I'm kind of looking out towards uh, Childress right now. They've got some kind of a warning out that direction. I want to see what's going on out there. This is um, WX5ASA. We just got a report of uh, flooding at Navajo and Broadway. Uh, water over the tires almost of a normal size pickup. I can pick. Like, I, I drove through there a little bit ago and it was uh, it was probably up to the bumper of a car. The bottom of the bumper, but it's probably gotten worse. I'm by putting a Toyota right now. WX5SA. The rain rate has dropped to five inches an hour on my rain gauge, and I've received over two inches of rain at my house. The two inches. WX5ASA, this is KC5CMZ. KC5CMZ, go ahead. The rain has uh, increased. I mean, you can't see 50 foot. We're still getting a, a hail, half inch, three quarter, uh, and it's picked up drastically in the last minute or so. Okay, copy. Very heavy rain, limited visibility, and three quarter inch hail. Yeah, uh, KC5 CMZ clear. Thank you for the report, WX5 ASA. Um, WX5ASA, W5RH. Go ahead. Finally out of the rain, I'm going to start kind of moving back towards Altus, and it looks like it's, uh, I can't see Altus again, so there might be another band coming through behind me. Uh, I can report a lot of hell damage on my car and a broken windshield. W5 IRH. I'll copy the hail damage and broken windshield. Are you um, east of Navajo Road? I'm east of the main, driving back towards Altus. If I can get to my house, I hear it's up to bump, like really deep on Navajo. This car is stuck on South Navajo. Uh, yeah, we're getting reports of uh, very deep water in Navajo and Broadway. WX5 ASA, KG5 IWL also confirmed that for uh, Main Street as well on several portions of it. Okay, specifically what part of Main Street? Um, north, south, up near Walmart. Between your location, the EOC, and Northwest, or excuse me, North Lee Street, that entire uh, side of the road is almost completely washed out. You have to go to the center lane in order to even drive. Okay, well, thank you for the report. And, uh,
think the bill that he's already in. Sent some of that stuff in, but we, would, uh, we appreciate reports, WX5SA. At 541, radar indicated a severe thunderstorm located near Warren, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. 80 mile per hour wind gust and two inch hail are possible with this storm. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught outside without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Locations include Snyder, Mountain Park, Roosevelt, Godibo, Hedrick, Friendship, Cooperton, Warren, Tom Steed Reservoir, Altus Air Force Base, and Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. Again, I'm going to drive hey, back uh, remains in Texas, all the way downtown, and I'll drive up North Main Street, check the big hey, severe major road, and get to be five Irish. Or wind gusts possible is in place for Texas. Hey, copy. The storm drain there at uh, in front of Putnam, between Putnam and the in the highway, is uh, almost all the way level between the the highway and Putnam's parking lot. There's no grass visible. Copy that, Dave. It seems like we got pretty good flooding generally throughout Alsis right now. At the National Weather Service office in Norman has issued a flood advisory for central Jackson County until 745. At 543, emergency management reported heavy rain in Altus due to thunderstorms. This will cause minor flooding. Up to one inch of rain has already fallen. Some locations that will experience any flooding include Altus and Altus Air Force Base. Additional rainfall of one inch to three quarters of an inch is expected over the area. Excessive runoff yeah, and heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses, as well as other spots of low drainage. Again, flood advisory includes the city of Alsace and Alsus Air Force Base till 745, KNG993. DQSD, QSD, the National Weather Service in Norma has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Comanche County, northeastern Jackson County, central Kiowa County until 6.30 p.m. At 5.41 p.m., a severe thunderstorm is located near Warren, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. This is a very dangerous storm. Hazards include 80-mile-per-hour wind gusts and 2-inch hail. Locations include Snyder, Mountain Park, Roosevelt, Godibo, Hedrick, Friendship, Cooperton, Warren, Tom Steed Reservoir, Altus Air Force Base, and Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Comanche County, northeastern Jackson County, central Kiowa County until 6.30 p.m. This is WX5 ASA at the Altus COC Authority National Weather Service. DPH, W5, IRH. Uh, we're sending it to you. We got a pretty good flood going around down here in Alpha. Dave, are you calling for W5 DPH? I was just letting you know we got a uh, pretty good flood headed your way. I had a rain rate of seven inches an hour for a while at my house. I got two and a half inches of rain and in about ten minutes. That caused me to chuckle a little bit. That is insane. I'm, I'm, I assume that it has stopped at the moment. No, we still got sprinkles, but it's mostly past us here. This way, it, uh, from what I heard on the last uh, broadcast on the 525 or the Lear system, it was northwest. Is that is it still on track for northwest, or is it more central, uh, Comanche? I don't know. It came through Altus. I think it was moving north northeast, so it probably won't hit Lawton. It'll probably hit uh, north, maybe even north of the county. I saw, I saw it on National Weather Service a minute ago. Big, big red blob. So, yeah, we're going to keep our eye out for it. It, it was uh, spitting rain a while ago. 
but it, it seems to be um, not real overcast right now. We can still see the sun off to the west. Of the, or the, I guess these are just isolated cells, is that right? Yeah, zooming out on the radar, it looks like uh, a big cell on Roosevelt, and then it kind of tails down to the southwest. W5IRH. Point south of that. WX5ASA. Hang on, I got another radio. W5IRH. Okay, I was looking for the source of a transmission on. Um, Alpha's Bravo, but it seems to have disappeared. I was talking to Brent and Lock. Okay, but I wasn't decoding anything. It just uh, sounded like hash for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I called a few times on it and he didn't answer me. Maybe it got bumped out of... Digital mode or something, I don't know. Toggle the channel, go back. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was using it, so it, the repeater works. Okay, well, something's gone bad with the radio down here, so I will uh, work with it and see what I can do. Copy. Give me five hours. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. There's, I don't know if it's this uh, Kenwood radio, but it, it like truncates the first. Once it kind of goes to sleep for a second, it kind of truncates the first part of your uh, call, and, and nothing comes to the speaker. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn that off. Uh, but yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. I don't remember what we were saying. Uh, a lot of rain here in Altus. A lot of street flooding. Uh, I got a lot of hail damage on the car. If you get a chance, you can watch the video that's on my Facebook. I did a Facebook Live while I was getting hammered. Love to, but I got rid of Facebook about six months ago, and I haven't really missed it, honestly. But, um, uh, anyways, I was going to ask you, what, what are you guys using for? Uh, as your spotter repeater now. We've been using the 050, and sometimes this one. I talk on both of them. <laughs> Let me get on the side for a minute here. I have someone trying to flag me down. Give me five hours. All right, we'll catch you later. W5 DPH. WX5 ASA, W5 IRH. Go ahead. The water is up to the houses on Ash and Park Lane. It's coming down pretty quick. Ash and Park Lane on Ash. The water got pretty high. It didn't get in, it, get in any houses. And it looks like there's more hell damage over here. Um than other places, and there is still hell laying around. So maybe English Village, um, and then around WX5 ASA, W5 IRH. Go ahead. The water is up to the houses on Ash and Park Lane. It's coming down pretty quick. Ash and Park Lane on Ash. The water got pretty high. It didn't get in, it, get in any houses. And it looks like there's more hell damage over here um, than other places. And there is still hell laying around. So maybe English Village um, and then around the high school might have got more hell than other places. It's kind of funny you were uh, giving me that report. And Jackson County Sheriff was given exactly the same report. All right. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> okay, the report. WX5ASA. Got 
Quarter floorboards coming down Park Lane. That coming. Copy water to the floorboards coming down Park Lane. Just, uh, I mean, it's only going to get better. I mean, it's probably as bad as it's going to be, but, yep, just right here by the park. Park Lane. Okay, copy that. Okay, Dad, you can check me out of the net. I'm going to pull in here at my house and check the hell damage on my my house here. My trees lost a lot of leaves, that's for sure. Three five Irish. Okay, I'll check you out of the net at 1802 at your home QTH. QSD, QSD, QSD. Significant weather advisory for southeastern Harmon. Southwestern Jackson and Central Hardeman counties until 6.30 p.m. 5.58 p.m., strong thunderstorms were along a line extending from seven miles northeast of El Dorado to six miles north of Quanah, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazards include hail up to dime size, wind gusts to 50 miles per hour, minor flooding in areas of poor drainage. Weather advisory for southeastern Harmon, southwestern Jackson, and central Hardeman counties. This is WX5 ASA at the Alpha COC, 30 National Weather Service.
goes to you. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Jackson County and central Hardeman County until 7.15 p.m. At 6.19 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located eight miles southwest of Quanta, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Locations impacted include Quanta, Chillicothe, El Dorado, Medicine Mound, and Copper Break State Park. Once again, the, severe, the National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Jackson County and central Hardeman County until 7.15 p.m. This is WX5ASA at the Alta COC, Authority of National Weather Service. WX5ASA, W5IRH, would I need to go back south on the highway again to the, the hill, or do I need to go somewhere different this time? Uh, it's exactly the same as it was before, really, maybe a little further south than it was. Uh, so probably south would be the best direction. Okay, W5R. Problem is, is you're not going to get southeast of it. Uh, by the time it gets up here, it'll be probably too near 283, and you'll be looking into it. Okay. So spot from home or just go to the very south side of town? If it continues on its track right now, you'd want to be almost on 287 in Vernon by the time it gets up here, I think. Um, too far to go, really. We have another storm um, to the southeast of it's uh, to the east of El Dorado, and it's tracking northeast. Uh, we'll pass a lusty, probably, or go over a lusty, and then through Altus again in a few minutes. Um, that one, it'll be pretty much the same as before. Down at Nine Mile Hill would probably be the best view of that storm, but I don't think it has any rotation in it, so it's just going to be a... Rain and hail again. Okay. So, the summary of all that is I need to go out or I don't need to go out? Well, right now I'd hold. Wait until things get a little bit more developed and we can, we can uh, know a little bit more about it then and decide whether to send you out or not. Okay, I'm going back inside again. It started raining. I walked to my car in the rain and sat here for a minute, and <laughs> I'm going to go back in. Okay, WX5ASA. W5IRH. All stations are set. The National Weather Service advises a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 7.15 for southwestern Jackson and central Hardeman counties. At 6.26, radar indicated severe thunderstorm located 8 miles south of Quanah, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Golf ball hail and 60 mile an hour wind gusts are indicated by the storm. Locations impacted include Quanah, Chillicothe, El Dorado, Medicine Mound, and Copper's Break State Park. A tornado watch remains in place for the warned area. Again, severe thunderstorm warning in place until 7.15. This does not include the city of Alsace, but it does include Jackson County. Authority of the National Weather Service, KNG 993. USL, I have 760 Alta COC. I'm reporting P-size hail on Crane Street at this time. I'll be P-size hail on Crane. KNG 993. Tornado watch. QST, QST, QST. National Weather Service Norman has issued a new severe thunderstorm warning at 6.54 p.m. This one has issued, uh, they have issued this one for severe thunderstorm warning in southeastern Jackson, western Tillman, northern Wilbarger in Texas, and east 
central Hardeman County in Texas. We're headed to Rome, Holland. Until 745. At 6.54, a severe thunderstorm is located near Chillicothe, moving east at 35 mile an hour. Hazard includes golf ball size, hail, 60 mile an hour wind gust. It's radar indicated. Um, possibilities in this one, they do have a tornado possible on it. Uh, hail, one and three quarter inch, wind, 60 mile an hour. Uh, they want to watch this one closely. It'll be X5, really, David. Yeah, I five you. I pay ER. Clouds of ground have certainly picked up an Alpha's proper. W5 IR range. Matt. All stations is Matt. The National Weather Service office in Norman has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Jackson, western Tillman, northern Wellbarger, and east central Hardeman until 745. At 654, radar indicated a severe thunderstorm located near Chillicothe moving east at 35 miles per hour. Golf ball hail and 60 mile an hour wind gusts are indicated with this storm. Locations impacted include Vernon, Frederick, Tipton, Chillicothe, Davidson, Manitou, Fargo, Odell, and Hess. This does not include the city of Alsa. Again, severe thunderstorm warning until 745 for Jackson County does not include Six, five, eight, 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 eight. Authority National Weather Service, KNG 993. WX5 ASA, over. I was starting to pick up peas, but my side of town over here on East Broadway again, and pretty good amount of, ooh, that was close. Pretty, pretty good amount of uh, cloud to ground. I'm glad I didn't cut. Come on. Surprised that you're able to talk this well with all the thunder. Well, I was giving that report one hit within a few blocks. Careful out there. WX5 ASA clear. WX5 ASA repeater. WX5 ASA. WX5 BRM. WX5 ASA, go ahead. Here, I'm on 287. Uh, 1.2 one miles west of Cabot, and I do have a rotating wall cloud, uh, 1.21 miles west of Cabot. Can you spell the name of that town, please? I don't, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, T-O, what is it, L-B-E-R-T?
severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Jackson County, western Tillman County, northern Wilbarger County, east central Hardeman County until 7.45 p.m. This is WX5 ASA and the Alta COC Authority National Weather Service. At 7.06, radar indicated strong thunderstorms along the line extending from three miles east of Cooperton to three miles southwest of Humphreys, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Hazards include hail up to the size of nickels, wind gusts to 5-0. A tornado watch remains in place for the advised area. Authority National Weather Service, KNG 993. Yes, this is W5RH. As soon as it quits raining, I'll send up the drone and get some aerial pictures of the, the flood that's going on. W5RH. Okay, well that'll be real good. Appreciate that. WX5ASA through the WX5ASA repeater. Copy that and also show me mobile. Oh. Oh, my 
wipe up at work, so I'll be out on the west end around Lee and Goodyear. 85 ICD, standby. QSD, QSD, with uh, Comanche County now being in as a residential warning. We'll take the net to formal. Uh, this will be a formal direct net. We have two net controls to check in through. If you have a report on anything, please ask you. Uh, they report to give a call sign. And Stephen, I want to pick you up. I give you a report and move on. Uh, we'll keep a chatter with them. We'll keep my hand up way down, too. Uh, Channel 7 is monitoring. Uh, so anything to report in the health care direct, as well as now some road service, can also get it to what Stephen's putting in his computer system. The will be at five out of seven. We're formal. Also, uh, everybody keep in mind, we need, uh, we need your location first. Location first. Then the report, a uh, severe criteria, so uh, wind, uh, wind gusts uh, of uh, 55 or greater, hail of uh, east or greater. We'll probably take any hail report, actually. But uh, location first, we really need the location. Good uh, east, west, and north, south roads. Uh, and then the report, uh, appreciate it. KG5 ICD. Thank you, East Watt. Tornado Watch. KST, KST, KST. National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Tillman County at 7.55 p.m. This is in effect until 8.30 p.m. At 7.55, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located four miles east of Davidson, moving east at 30 miles an hour. Hazard includes tornado, golf ball size hail. This radar indicated rotation. Flying debris is a dangerous thing with this storm right now. Uh, locations impacted including Grandfield, Hollister, and Loveland. WX5, rather W. This is the WX. Roger, Roger. AI5U. Be careful, Gabe. UST Weather Services added another severe thunderstorm. Today, I thought, here we go, Stephen. A severe thunderstorm warning at 8.03. Uh, this one includes northeastern Comanche County, southern Cattle County until 8.45 p.m. Uh, Located near Boone, moving east at 35, 60 mile an hour wind gust, quarter size hail, radar indication. Looking at Anadarko, Apache, Fletcher, Surreal, Burton, Cement, Lake Ellsworth, Boone, and Stecker. WX5 and the WN, it also includes I 44 between mile markers 60 and 67. So, K5 WXL. I'm ICD, Grandfield Machine. Tornado, watch. Uh, Gabe, you got a report for us? Not it, but go ahead and show me Highway 5, Highway 36. I'm going to let this thing blow over uh, Highway 36 before I head any farther south, but uh, I'll let you know if I see something. So, Gabe, uh, IRL, go ahead. For, uh, we just got a little bit of rain here. All of that looks mostly said, but it is lightening up uh, out to the west. So we just got light rain here. I'll keep you informed. WX5 IRL. KG5 ICZ, standby. AICZ. I would like to uh, report one of the phenomenons that's associated with storms like this and the calm before the storm. The wind was blowing like crazy earlier today, and there's not a breath, uh, uh, there is not a breath of wind moving at my house at the moment. W5 DPH. Just roll through here. Uh, it ought to start raining your location not too long. KG5 ICZ standing by. Have UAV K5 WXL. Gabe, did you say earlier that you're hanging out at 5 and 36? KG5 UAV, go ahead and show me headed south. Uh, it's still quite a ways off to the west, so I was able to make it on south. I'm going to pull off here a little bit and look a little. But it looks like it's going to stay well north of uh, 70, probably oh, 05 to 10 miles north of 70. Concern, because the area of concern is uh, is starting to get up there near that Highway 5 area. All right, K5 WXL. Be about five south of there, and I'm sitting behind one of these uh, Doppler on wheels trucks. That is kind of a tricky looking thing, watching it spin. Boy, Grandfield, Oklahoma looks like I-44 right now. KE5 UAB. This is the WX. Five L A W repeater B L one twenty three. Like that, uh, pretty much all day on this uh, 
Well, that storm that uh, first moved through the area. KG-5, I, Susie. Roger. The last five miles heading south, I've probably passed 250 to 300 vehicles, and there's one of the OU uh, Doppler trucks, too. It's crazy. Go ahead and show me here in Grandfield. Um, I'm going to post up here for a while, but everything looks like it's going to stay well north. KE5 UAB. All right, I'll show you in Grandfield. Uh, thanks, Gabe. KG5 ICZ. And wait for the text to come up. Weather radio went off first this time. KST, KST, Weather Service has issued another severe thunderstorm warning. This one at 828. Uh, this warning covers southern Comanche. All of Cotton County, Southeast Tillman County until 9.30. Uh, at 27, severe thunderstorm was located five miles northeast of Loveland, moving east at 30 mile an hour. Uh, golf ball size hail, 60 mile an hour winds are the concerns. The radar indicated uh, areas include Lawton, Walters, Geronimo, Temple, Chattanooga, Baxton, Loveland, Cookie Town, southeastern Fort Seal, and Hewlett. It also includes Interstate 44 between mile marker 13 and 40. WX5, LAW. And extra note, the Weather Service did allow the tornado warning to expire, and this is the thunderstorm warning they were talking about replacing it with. WX5, LAW. Tornado Watch. KST Weather Service is issuing another tornado warning. Uh, this tornado warning, uh, 831. PM is issued for northwestern Cotton and east central Tillman County until 9 p.m. 831 is severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado which is located six miles east of Loveland, moving east to 30 mile an hour. Hazard tornado golf ball size hail radar indicated. Uh, there was a report, but they're still looking at confirming that. Uh, I think right now it's radar indicated. WX5 LAW. Cashing good year, copy. AL5 T-Mobile, 82nd and Bishop. Golf ball size hail, heavy rain reported by Chattanooga Police Department in Chattanooga. Uh, how'd you get that report? The County Emergency Management Director. Cotton County EM.
XYZ. Sure. And it's uh, just a cheap, uh, like, uh, weather channel app on my phone. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at what looks like a possible uh, hook echo down uh, just to the east of Faxon with a, with a notch uh, just east of Cash. Uh, am I looking at something valid or... Or uh, what What are we looking at here? Yeah, when you started talking, we still had a tornado warning in effect in southern uh, Comanche going into western Cotton County. And the last two or three words you said, it went off the screen and it expired. So that's the only thing they have right now. Uh, there is stuff, weather service saying there's stuff that could regenerate, you know, so they're watching it. Uh, but they're trying to get everything dropped back down just to serve thunderstorm warnings at this time. Uh, KK4MYZ standing by. Yeah, I just happened to look at the app and, and see that. Uh, just kind of threw me through a loop. I was thinking it was just something linear. We're getting a little bit of rain. I, I see the area you're talking about now. I changed the settings on my, my screen. Uh, that's the area they've had a tornado. Um, radar indicated that we've been tracking for the last 25 minutes or so, and uh, I can see where you're, you're talking about on it, but it's not there right now, but it may come back. It's come back once already. If it's right, really, there's KK4MYZ standing by. You can see the tornado warning that we had in Southern Comanche, Western Cotton County uh, has been allowed to expire at this time. Uh, the only thing we have right now is a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that goes until 9.30, and the tornado watch that continues for most of the area until 10 o'clock, although Kiowa, Hillman, and other counties along that line have been dropped from it. Did we try, did we? That's my Approximately Sheridan and New Hope, 
Winds are now out of the west and picked up to about 30 to 40. KG5 IWL, KC5 FM. I lost the call. I'm trying to call back. I think Andrew got that. Did we try, but is it me? I find you. Yeah, uh, thanks, uh, Anthony. Yeah, all right, Andrew. Go ahead, Tim. Confirm his rain report. I've got a rain rate right now of 8.23 inches an hour. What? Three inches an hour. Three, two. Close enough. Yeah, it's on the east side of town here off the 45th and Lee. Uh, it really is torrential out there with you. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Tim. Debbie, it's five, it's Debbie. WX5, LAW, KE5, UAB. We're down here in the south, the one that was tornado warned. Did show about you know, south of Walters, right in the Walters area? Thanks, KSWO. Hope 
we got some information passed on to you that helped. I know we had stuff that went that way. County Emergency Management. KG5, IWL. KG5, uh, him in there. He got reports to us as well across the county. Connected. KG5, SM. Around on the road. It takes a whole bunch of us doing different things to make it all work well, and they work very well tonight. Thanks, everybody. WX5, that is Debbie. Uh, repeaters back to KC5, FM.